Hey there, we're back. Uh, what I've done right now, the current situation, I've just got out of the shower and I'm here doing this video now because I wanted to make it as close as possible to what I do ordinarily when it comes to trimming and cleaning up the beard. And for those of you that don't know, a month ago I shaved my beard down to a clean shave and a mustache. And so a month later, this is what we're working with. And what I'm doing is kind of showing my process of growing the beard back out while still keeping it looking relatively neat. I guess I'll give a closer explanation of what we're going to do. So my cheek lines are a little dirty. I kind of messed them up a little while ago. I was trying to, pro tip, do everything slowly so you don't make the mistakes that I make or don't get OCD about it. And what I mean by that is I was trying to make sure that these cheek lines were nice and even with one another. And then I ended up bringing my cheek lines down all the way to here. So now we're in the process of letting them grow back out. Don't overthink it basically, because that's when you get too handsy with it and then you end up shaving everything off. So yeah, anyways, back to what I was talking about with the cheek line. So with the cheek line, what I do is I use a comb to keep the line straight and go down right there. And then I'll also do the same thing for the mustache right here. And then that just keeps it nice and neat. You don't have to do it that way. That's just the way I've been doing it as of late. And then when it comes to underneath the beard, general rule is when you're growing it back out that you go two fingers up above your Adam's apple, but mine's getting a little longer now. So I'll just probably go about a finger above and I'll start doing the trim line right there. And then we're also going to go into styling the mustache because right now it's just all going straight down as you can tell, but we'll have it nice and relatively neat as we go on with this. Really quick, before we get into the cheek line, I wanted to talk about the Varangian trimmer. It does come with six attachments, everything from a nose trimmer to a foil to a clipper guard that is adjustable. So really cool, really neat. Has a cool little what? Little Viking logo right there. Feels good in the hands. Anyways, just wanted to touch on that real quick. Let's get to the cheek line. Okay, so the cheek lines are done for now. And now we're gonna go to underneath the beard. Again, usually when you let your beard grow out, the general rule is two fingers up and then you start, but I'm gonna go with where the main portion, like the darkest spot of it is ended. And I'm gonna start from there and just work my way down just to clean it up with the trimmers. So here's what we're working with. Nice and clean. Now going back to the cheek lines, I said before, done for now. And I think I will stop there for me personally, but what I'm going to do is kind of emulate how I get this even more clean because I just use the precision trimmer and I showed you the, so eyebrow shapers, precision razor. And what I do with this is I'll wet my face and I will just simply go along up top and just clean this even more, which I mean, even right now, I don't know if you can hear it working, but it's actually cutting right there. So I'll go like that on both sides and you can get a nice clean and precise shave with this. And it's really easy for those of you that don't necessarily want to use a straight blade or safety razor, and it's really quick. So again, these you can pick up Walmart, Amazon, Target. I'll put them in the link below and they're very inexpensive. So that's what we use there. Next up is the mustache. Now, right now we still have a pretty strong mustache going on compared to the beard. So they call that a beard stash and hopefully not for long but I still like to style my mustache. And what we're going to use today is we're going to use a beard wax or a mustache wax. And 
This wax right here is relatively subtle compared to some of the other mustache waxes out there that are really sticky. And that's what um, guys use that have those handlebars, those real big curls on the end. That's when you need to utilize that really sticky wax. But again, I like this more subtle beard wax from the beard struggle because again it gives it more of a natural look and so i'll open this up and show you what we're working with so this is what the inside looks like i'm going to warm it up see if you can see this there we go and a little goes a long way so rub it in my fingers and then on this smells amazing again i'll link this uh down below as well next i'll grab a comb and i'll split the mustache right down the middle there we go and you have a couple options from here sometimes i'll just keep it relatively together so that it gives it a little more it stands out a little bit when you do style it subtly so it still stands out or you can go ahead twist the sides there we go so it stands out a little bit more compared to this side just a a little extra flair if you will but generally i will just comb it out and just subtly put it together so it just makes it a little more pronounced and stand out from the beard all right so those are my general steps that i take when it comes to maintaining the beard as i let it grow out i hope that you found something useful within those steps but that being said if you do have any tips or tricks for us that you'd like to share please put them in the comment box below until the next video cheers